Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today. I know it's been a few days since I made some videos, but as you guys all know, I was real busy last week. I was in New York City. I had a meet and greet. I got a chance to meet so many of my subscribers. We had a good old time in Times Square. But I'm glad to be back in my usual spot and I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to do an update on the whole Tierra Marie situation. Everybody and their mama been sending me this story. Because as you guys know, I've been covering this damn sex tape story from day one, okay? So if you guys remember, T. Grodamas told y'all that my tin hat was tingling and that I felt like this entire storyline, this whole sex tape fiasco with Tierra Marie and Lisa Bloom was nothing more than a storyline for loving hip hop Hollywood. And now Milan Christopher, who was Tierra Marie's best friend, is now calling her the fuck out and confronting her with none other than Akbar, the guy who Tierra Marie supposedly accused along with 50 Cent of leaking her sex tape, okay? So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this flashback. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So you wait, you were still here, you were just still together now. Yeah, we are. Oh, okay, all right, so I guess people are describing as an as an ad because right. they're assuming that you're breaking up because you're pissed about this leak. Well, after the whole sex tape, Seems like him and Tierra Marie are still together. And my thing is if somebody that I trusted posted something like that of me, there would be no together. He would not be in my house. We would not be in the bedroom arguing. You'd be put the fuck out. So I don't understand how they're still in a relationship if he's the one who allegedly leaked the video. Now there's been an update to the story and this is why I feel like all of this is contrived. Now Milan, who was on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, now there's video that has surfaced of him today where he's saying that he was meeting up with Akbar, Tierra's so-called boyfriend, and he's going to go confront him and supposedly they're trying to jump him. Like all of this shit just looks like a Love & Hip Hop, you know what I'm saying, saga. Honey, I told you so. That bra was looking for a damn storyline and now Milan Christopher is proving it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these videos of Milan Christopher and Akbar confronting Tia Marie and then also them sitting down and doing interviews with TMZ. And in the interview, Akbar is saying that Tia Marie is still trying to get some of that damn sausage, okay? How are you trying to fuck somebody who supposedly leaked a sex tape of you that you're supposedly suing, but you're calling yourself trying to sit on that damn package, okay? I'm going to need Tia Marie to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Go ahead and check out these videos. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. On Monday when you told me to Cause we together. We yes. Cause we not. We are. No, we are. Yes, not. we are. We're all fucking sitting here serious. You're yeah. With if, if you with me? You with him? Right now. That was my business. What? That don't make no sense. That, that's he our business. Out on you. You suing him in fifty. He did. But you're right here with him at but dinner. He did, and you keep trying to prove that you didn't. And he called. And I didn't. To talk to me he that did. Did. No, you call me. Up, you know he did. Shit. How? Because I know you did. You was the only mother, other motherfucker that had. So you don't have it in your phone? I do. And what about it, bitch? What about it? And he and he has it in his phone, or he doesn't have it in his phone. Because his phone got stolen. Phone. Yeah, and he sent me that text message. So you, did so if I, if I did this bad against you, why are you with me? So if he did this bad, why are you with me? Why are you with me? I see. Because you, you are a fucking co-hearser. A co-hearser? Yep. What? So all I tell you. Where you going now? Away from your ass. I don't give a fuck if I was going with 
Because you're running from old girl. That's what you're running from now. I, I remember the first day when she came to my house. It was about 7.30 in the morning. And, you know, she called me talking about something that happened the day before. And she wanted to come over and hang out and chill or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. So I went to go get her. And she kept telling me, Akbar put a sex tape out of me. Akbar put a sex tape out of me. I'm like, where's this sex tape at? Like, where is it at? Because it, it, it hadn't been posted yet. This is at 7.30. She, the sex tape didn't come out to like 10.47. Tier ran out my door around like 10.30. And then at like 10.35, she came back into my apartment. And I was like, what's what are you doing like she was just acting really like crazy or whatever so she was like see look this is the sex tape and so she's showing me the sex tape in her phone and i'm like but that's not posted where is it posted she said don't worry about it so then she runs out my door again and then like five minutes later the sex tape is out so you truly believe that she put it out though now 100 percent. she's doing all of this because i really think psychologically psych psychologically tier needs help Tierra needs to see a doctor. It's, I think this is deeper than, you know, alcoholism, you know, drugs. I forgive Tierra for lying to me because even after all of that, even after me going through that with her, I literally got in my car and I drove to her to pick her up and make sure that she doesn't get hurt because she was getting into an altercation with Akbar and Akbar's girlfriend. Um, they was actually trying to, well, Akbar called his girlfriend to come fight her. And she didn't cuss me out. She's swinging on me, hitting on me, telling me, you know, I ain't shit because I caught her with Akbar again. Um, and I caught her up in all her lies that she was telling me. And she got pissed off at me. But she was swinging on me, trying to fight me, you know, calling me all type of names. But I still was there for her because at the end of the day, I know that this is something to do with how Tierra sees herself. Tierra was upset that we got into it, whatever, and she continued to reach out to me, and it was kind of weird that I'm like, you know you suing me, right? Why you continue to call me? She's like, well, I just want some some penis. She's like, I want to have sex with you. I said, girl, like, what? Like, drop the lawsuit, we can, you know, move forward. She's like, I want to do that so you can leave me. Like, it's like, why are you creating this? This thing, I didn't know what she was trying to do. I was just confused. I'm like, why are you lying to people? And people bashing me, Brad. Like, people talking to me crazy online. Like, you a scumbag. You you know, you was a F boy. And just being disrespectful. So so when she wanted to meet up with me, I didn't want to meet at my place because she probably bust my car windows out. So I said, meet me at a hotel. That was a monkey wrench in the whole conspiracy theory. You know, the whole who leaked the thing. Because I know that I didn't leak it. She knew I didn't leak it. We knew that because we were together at the time it was leaked. That's why you pay attention to the, the, the times. She went to his house first, bust my car windows already. Before the tape was leaked, she was mad at me that night. And she bust my car windows out. So then that, that morning, she was at his place because we stayed in the same place. Um, next thing you know, so how she leaked it, I didn't know the whole I didn't know that until that was new information for me. I was like, whoa. That's why I was recording. You know, I got the tea right there too myself. So it was new to me as well. There is no lawsuit. I don't think that, I don't think, the thing about Elisa Bloom, she, you know, people in life will want to, she, she took it public. You know, when she made it public to humiliate myself, 50, whatever the case may be, what have you, I don't think she liked that same type of treatment. I don't think she liked that, especially when, you're representing. That's like anyone. If you have a wife or girlfriend and they cheat on you, cheat on you in public, at least keep it in private. You keep it a secret. We can get over this. But when the world found out before Lisa, I don't think Lisa liked that. I don't think that's something you want to represent and put your name on that that type of brand that she's trying to stand up for. The Bloom. I don't think she want to represent Tierra anymore. I don't think. I think that's tarnished. I think she tarnished that situation. All right. So you guys just saw those videos. Now on top of that. 50 Cent with his messy ass is once again involving himself. And this is what he had to say about the situation when he saw Tierra Maria Milan Christopher going back and forth on social media. Check this out. So Milan says, at Marie updates, just like that sex tape you put out of yourself when I was sitting right there next to you, then you had me fighting your ex for nothing. But hey, keep hope alive with the fake storyline. I'm sure at Love and Hip Hop VH1 is eating it all up, sis. And then Tierra Marie update says, at Milan Christopher, but if she leaked it while you were sitting next to her, why would you fight him, sis? Let's make it make sense, hun. 
Then he comes back and he says, good thing I recorded it. Even when you let me listen to somebody's name, I can't tell what name that is. Talk shit about me. Three years later, you the real one. Good luck with Lisa Bloom in that lawsuit against at 50 Cent and at Akbar. We've talked and I will testify on his behalf. You put the tape out yourself. I was, fess up, has been. So 50 Cent comes and he says, oh my, this is crazy. But at least they're telling the truth now. Get the strap. So like I told y'all from day one, I felt in my heart of hearts, all of this was bullshit. It was nothing more than a storyline. There are no heroes here, okay? First of all, Milan Christopher is an attention whore, okay? He went to go fight Akbar, knowing that Tia Marie supposedly leaked the sex hate while he was sitting next to her. So this nigga right here. All right, nigga. What's up, bro? What's up? Y'all see this bitch ass nigga? What's up? What's up, nigga? What's up? So that tells me that Milan Christopher is doing nothing more but trying to secure a spot on Love and Hip Hop. So besides Milan Christopher being stupid as hell, Akbar is also stupid as hell because if this same girl is trying to sue you and press felony charges on you, okay? She went so far as to get a lawyer to press felony charges on you to get you prosecuted for allegedly leaking a sex tape and he's still dealing with her, he's still talking to her. And I knew everything was shady as hell when she was sitting there talking about she hadn't broke up with him and I told you on the other video, even the guys from TMZ were surprised at her story. How are you accusing this man of leaking your sex tape but you're still in a relationship with him? I feel at the end of the day, all of these three has-beens, cause that's what they are, they're all has-beens, okay? They're trying to secure a spot on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, and this is the only way they can do it because like I've said before, who the hell was checking for Tia Marie before this whole sex tape scandal? Nobody, okay? Who the hell was checking for Milan Christopher? Uh, nobody. And me personally, I had no idea that Akbar even existed. I don't know anything about him. So once again, no one was checking for any of these people, but now they've gained more popularity online due to this alleged sex tape that I feel in my heart of hearts that Tia Marie put out herself for a story line so this entire situation is a hot damn mess that's why i'm not quick to jump on these chicks's bandwagon and jump on this whole me too movement you have people who have been seriously violated but unfortunately you also have attention whores who are using the me too movement and the times up movement for attention for fame and to garner sympathy and what tia marie did was all the way wrong and all the way out of pocket so for that i have no respect for her whatsoever and milan christopher is just as messy and the only reason why he's involving himself so heavily is because he's trying to secure a spot on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. He's hoping that now that he's involved in all this drama, somehow Mona will bring him back on the show because he has nothing else going for himself, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Tierra Marie getting caught out and blasted by not only Akbar, her so-called ex-boyfriend, but also her ex-best friend, Milan Christopher. And then also, what do you guys feel about what 50 Cent had to say? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.